Is this your first time here? Well, guess what? You're not alone. My name is Viva Viva, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This right here is my first official YouTube vlog. I decided to go, yeah, mm-hmm, you saw it. The thumbnail said it all. Your girl went to Ghana. I had so much fun, and I decided to put some snippets, clips, food, and fun together for you to see my experience. Would I recommend? Yes. 10 out of 10? Yes. Thumbs up? Yeah. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Come they move like a disco One lick in my lola top Happy pose, happy actor So they fucking me ball on up Oh yeah, come take a picture Rock right on your fire Oh yeah, follow my instruction Let the limits Come they move like a disco One lick in my lola top Happy pose, happy actor So they fucking me ball on up Oh yeah, come take a picture Then here's the living room, boom, dining room, boom. Then look how freaking high the thing goes. These are at least 40 feet curtains or 30 feet. Like, how the heck did they get all the way up there? Anyways, then here's the kitchen. Boom, 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 boom. There's a fridge, microwave, boom, 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 boom. Over here is a half bathroom. So if you're looking to move to Ghana, this is a show of where you would purchase half bathroom. Just a mirror. And then we'll go upstairs. This is a kind of like a living room area or you know, it can be like your office or a little seating area. Here's Janelle's room and her stuff, her drawer, her kitchen in. She doesn't, she doesn't unpack. Little TV in the corner, shower, sink, toilet. And then there's, I guess, a mini TV here. And here's my room and I made my bed yet. Don't judge me. Oh, and I brought my own pillow. I opened the room window for whatever, whatever. Oh, girl, did she turn on the AC? So, she is crazy. Let me turn on the AC for this girl. Sorry. So, here's her room. She got the big room. Has a whole shebang. Has this. She even has a balcony. Oh no, I'm using her balcony for a picture. And she has a little thingy. Then there's a closet. Like the big closet, whatever, whatever. And then look at her bathroom. She got this. She got the tub. And she got the shower. Her room's nice. It's her birthday, so that could be also why she got the good room. But yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. 
Thank you. Wow, it's so pretty. Hi, everyone. Janelle. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I don't just do this just to do it. Um, God holds a very special place in my heart. Um, so, I'm going to talk a lot. Just enjoy the food, enjoy the drink. It's going to be a great night. So, did you guys see the Soho across? Yeah. Okay, so there's this very, very important um, radio person in Ghana, and he put all you guys on his guest list. This is the Ghana flag, red, yellow, green, and the black star. The red represents our forefathers who lost their lives in the struggle for the independence of Ghana. So the, blood. the blood is shed is the red, the yellow is the mineral wealth of Ghana, and the green is the forest. Mm. And the black star, you know, Ghanaians are referred to as the black stars of Africa because we are the first black African country in the sub Saharan to gain independence that one. yes that's why they consider us as the black stars of africa they get married and they are men they leave their wives here go on the road and the farms look for money food and bring it they drop it and they go back they always make sure their women are okay this is a silo for preserving their food all right so this is a gurune okay so in ghana we can categorize chieftains into two the northern chieftaincy and the southern chieftaincy. The northerners sprouts and skin. Because everything is natural. When you drink water from this pot made from clay, you don't need a fridge. It is still like drinking water from the fridge. Ghana 2023!
so I can, <laughs> so I can get pictures of you guys. where we stand happens to be the only castle that was built purposely for the transatlantic slave trade. Five experience, seven bridges. The highest point is 40 meters or 131 feet above the floor. 8,000 kilograms or eight tons of wood. All of us can go on it at the same time. Too cute. Look at the little baby ones. I'm not gonna go too close because they will beat me up. The big ones, the mom, and maybe that's the dad, who knows? And yeah, thank you very much. Slow down, everybody. Keep going down the hill. Let me put you on that new new. I got a lot of choices, but I choose. I was too chicken to ride, so the little boy has to ride. <laughs> He's my driver. Oh, shit. Forget when I take off the roof. You know, it's best around, but I'm gonna let her choose. But I should not put her in a boat. One, her skin out here in case she ain't no two. Tone, you yeah, wear that body like you in a booth. Those, one of her burdens I can bring out.
story time so there was a man on the beach attempting to sell these two puppies i felt super bad because it was so hot outside then again it's hot outside every day in ghana but you get what i mean these two puppies are small and they shouldn't really be in the heat like that they need to be with a mama so i did ask if he would allow me to hold them while he found a buyer he said no so I did do some research to see if I was able to bring these puppies back home to Canada with me. And unfortunately, Canada's laws does not allow us to bring dogs back from Ghana due to a specific strain of rabies. So unfortunately, I couldn't bring them with me, but I hope they found a loving home. Hi guys, I'm still here. Do you see the ambiance in the back? It's a vibe. Just the thought that I have to come back to wearing a winter jacket trash back entrance she don't want that hosting a party tomorrow and inviting me What I'm saying, ah, finesse. What you say? Let's go. See, I'm a shadow and go bright, though. What you say? I love you guys. <laughs> Okay, so one thing about Ghana is all of the restaurants are a vibe. The lights, the entertainment, the energy, amazing. But here's where we went wrong. We thought we had a little time before our flight, but we were rushing and we were nervous. Our Uber driver's hat says it all. We are the first black African country in the sub-Saharan to gain independence. That yes, that's why they consider us as the black stars of Africa. 